Well, it's uh, day three of the uh, soft shutdown here in Japan. I know for some of you that doesn't seem very long. Some of you have been at this for weeks. Um, well, not so bad for us, but we've really been in a soft lockdown for a while now. Anyway, I'm um, getting away from that. Uh, plenty to do in the garden. Um, so let's see. Uh, weeding, 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 weeding. Always weeding in the spring and pruning. Those are the two main things I'm at all the time. Um, also uh, repotting, getting things into fresh mixes before they start to initiate growth. Uh, particularly right now, the Fukidan, uh, that's the Neophenidia falcata, the epiphytic orchid of uh, wind orchid of Japan. That needs to be, um, well I need, actually should have, well it's okay now, up till now is okay, but uh, we're right on the edge here because this is going to start growing uh, very soon. Um, so those are the main activities in the garden right now. Also moving things around, so you can see that I moved a, a fairly large tree fern and that thing was heavy, that's why I was grunting and groaning, sorry for all that. Um, that's a, uh, a species of what used to be Cyathea, genus Cyathea, uh, Cyathea spinulosa, which um, now has been changed back over into uh, what was a subgenera, which is now considered the main genera, which is Alsophila. Uh, native of much of Eastern Asia, as far east as I believe uh, India, perhaps even Pakistan, I'm not sure. Um, and up <clears throat> into Japan, where it reaches its uh, northernmost limit of its range, a little bit further, well, not really north of here, but uh, east of here, uh, near Osaka, south of Osaka area. Uh, anyway, that fern and the other tree fern that you see there, that's uh, one that is a questionable history. Uh, it was thought to be the rare Cyathea tomentosissima, which is a native of um, Papua New Guinea in that area at high elevation. And now it's, uh, again, very uncertain, but probably it's definitely a Cyathea and in the genus Cyathea. Uh, well, actually, no, that would be Spheropterus. Sorry, they've changed that one too. Um, probably a cultivar of C. cooperi. Um, because it came out of Australia with very unknown uh, origins. and Anyway, so I can grow tree ferns here, uh, but they need to be covered in the wintertime uh, because uh, we can get temperatures down to about 25 degrees Fahrenheit, or that's about minus 5 or so, minus 4 Celsius. And that's getting right in the range where those things are going to die if you don't have them covered. Um, so I cover them up with this, uh, make a little tent around them with some bubble wrap and uh, plastic covering and I try to keep air movement from underneath so they don't rot out too much. Anyway, the last two winters it's worked pretty well but the last two winters have been no judge because it's been I won't say frost free but nearly frost free the last couple of years. Anyway, I needed to move that uh, large Osophila because it was uh, this thing grows pretty fast and I imagine it's going to probably put on about 10 centimeters of trunk this year and probably at least 10 fronds. And it was starting to shade out a lot of the uh, vegetation around where it was, particularly some azaleas. And I wanted to open that up anyway over there. So I moved it to the only logical place in my garden to put a saithi anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, a tree fern anymore because uh, there's just no room. Um, I was waiting to prune that ilex back because of those big heavy branches coming down from the ilex would have crushed the fern. So once I got the ilex cut, now I could bring the fern over. So that was one of the things I did. Uh, the blackberry, um, I don't only grow strange botanical things. I also sometimes grow uh, very common things like blackberries for obviously for consumption. Um, I need to prune that back, back every spring. And also uh, you'll notice that it had that big long arcing uh, whip. And I said, hey, I'm just gonna take that thing and you know stretch it out over a little hoop there and uh, you know train it to that because it was getting into my multifloral uh, rows and I didn't want it to mix in there. Um, that's about it. Uh, you know we're we're continuing on in this strange way as is much of the world and uh, in fact uh, 
my university classes are all going to be conducted online. Um, we're supposed to have a meeting this week about um, how we're going to do that because there's no uh, protocol for that at all. Uh, but the problem is, is that it's actually illegal for us to enter campus. So they're like, yeah, we're going to have the meeting. But for those instructors who can't come, I'm like, what? <laughs> so very odd times. Um, anyway, I'm hoping that these videos, again, are helping you deal with passing the time. Um, I'm sorry for these boring monologues at the end. You feel free to turn them off at any moment you want. Um, looks like I'm going to be doing this for a while. So if I'm kind of cooped up around here, then I'm going to uh, keep making these uh, vlog type videos since I have all the equipment uh, going right now. Uh, also, I'll be releasing some... Uh, video that I had from last year. There's uh, one little orchid trip that I took uh, fairly locally uh, that I haven't published yet and there's also one from uh, my trip to uh, British Columbia, Canada last year uh, and a whole bunch of others and I've been thinking about also maybe taking some local walks in the woods around here and showing you in a kind of an intimate level not this kind of a documentary type but just sort of like a little handheld cam. Look at this little, I don't have it here little handheld cam uh, that I can just walk around and show you different things and talk about the uh, these plants as well. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of time to do that, so why not? Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, well, if I keep doing this, you're going to get to see the progression of my garden through the seasons, and uh, that should be interesting. Uh, we'll be doing this at least until the end of spring meaning this shutdown i would guess at least for another month maybe a month and a half so if we're in this position where this is what's happening then i certainly will be putting these videos out so look forward to more of those in uh, the near future and i'll i'll see you in the next video